grizzly way out there, like 500 yards way out there, uh, and a coyote kind of interacting out there. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit of video of this scene. It's really windy out there, so I'm gonna try and stay in the car to get a more stable shot. Uh, but they're a long ways away, but it could be cool just the interaction of them being so close to each other. everybody, Steve Mathis here coming at you from Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it's May, there's a little bit of snow piling up on my baldness, but I love it. It's beautiful. I'm happy to be here and I'm going to be in uh, the park here for a couple of days. So uh, we'll see what I get into. I'm looking to do some photography, of course landscapes, wildlife, whatever I find. And um, I'm just stoked. I always love coming to Yellowstone, especially early season like this. It's uh, quieter in the park. Not all of it's even open yet. And um, all options are on the table for weather, including snow. I think the forecast in the next two days has snow, rain, sunshine, overcast. It's got it all. So. Weather-wise, it's, uh, it's a great setup for all kinds of different scenarios. And uh, just driving in, I've seen a uh, black bear with cubs, a grizzly bear, coyotes, lots of bison, obviously, elk, stuff like that. So um, really great potential for early season Yellowstone. I'm stoked to be here. I'll uh, show you what I come up with uh, coming up in the video ahead. All right. Ah. Uh... A little snow on the face in May. I'll take it. No problem at all. There we have Soda Butte. Soda Butte right there. All right. I'll check in with you later and let you know what I'm finding out there. There's a few bison coming down the road. Can you see them out there? Yep, there they are. Bison in the road. Coming at you. Very common sight here in Yellowstone.
All right, so the snow continues. I've got like an hour of daylight left and my plan is to stay here and shoot bison. So I've got lots of bison out here, um, which uh, can be very interesting subjects. They can be quite boring too, frankly, but uh, I've got great weather and great moodiness. And some of these bison have their little red dogs, the little baby bison that were just born. And they're super cute and make great photo subjects, especially in the snow. So while I'd love to go find a grizzly bear or a wolf or something like that, uh, I'm actually excited about hanging out with some bison. And uh, it's snowing really hard. So that's giving me the atmosphere and that uh, kind of that extra something that I need. And then hopefully some of the red dogs I can get in the snow as well. Uh, so this, this, I really like doing this, even though it's just bison, you know what I mean? So I'm going to spend some time here. I'm going to be shooting from my vehicle or just outside my vehicle and uh, using a combination of the, the long lens and some shorter stuff and uh, see what I can come up with out here. So in the next hour, it's all about the bison. And then I'm going to try some other things tomorrow because it's supposed to be sunny. So the light will be different, the mood will be totally different, but while I've got this snow and this atmosphere, I'm going to really try and take advantage of it. And there are lots of bison out here, so I should be able to um, get some, some decent opportunities out here. All right, so now as the snow is starting to pile up on the lens, I'm going to uh, get the camera out and make some photos. <laughs> <laughs> 